Hello artistic family, welcome back to today's pour. And what I'm doing today is a complete, as you can see, neutral metallic ring pour with black negative space. So I wanna try a little bit something different. It doesn't really matter to me where the negative space is, I just want it. So I'm thinking more diagonal or towards one end of the canvas, but we'll see what happens. It depends on how the ring pour starts to evolve and then I'll decide on how I'm gonna tilt it. Now, with that being said, guys, anyone who is interested and is new to my channel, and if you're wondering kind of where I've been, I kind of did like a short little review of some of my early, early artwork pre-YouTube, and then I showed you guys some of uh, the beginnings of fluid art within the last year and how I've kind of progressed and what I've learned. And uh, there's much that I've learned and I left three key tips at the end of that video. So let's go ahead and layer the cup. What I have here, guys, is I did some mixing up of my black. This is the same consistency that uh, I have here in my go-to bottle. I will use that for the pour and then I will water that down and uh, put some down for the base. I'm actually doing a double base, so I'm going to do black and then I'm going to do a bit of the gold. So let's go ahead and get started here. And I want a lot of black negative space, so I'm going to be adding a lot of black into the pour. All right, so the key thing that I've mentioned before is I'm being way more conscious of how much metallics I put in the paint. And so either put less layers or a lot less when I end up pouring. So this is a six ounce. You guys know this is my go-to plastic um, laundry detergent cup, which I love. It holds six ounces. It's good for lots of pours, and uh, I just absolutely love it. A little bit of gold. And I'm just going back and forth with the black. I did this when I did my metallic straight pour, which turned out gorgeous. I will link that for you as well. I use basically the same colors minus the, um, the silver. I believe I used the gold and the bronze and the black as well. A little hit here. Let's go back in. Black. Now this is my silver urgent. Again, guys, I will have all the details of my paints listed in the video description as usual. So this is the same color as the Artist Loft ready mix that I use, the one that creates and allows me to create those really cool lacing web effects. Um, it is not the premix though, it's just the regular silver argent. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off a little bit more of the gold. Tiny hit of the black again. Going with some bronze. And this is another great way too, guys, for you guys to determine if you struggle with layering, which I say is just as important as the colors that you pick, is to do that. When you do a pour, do very little of each and then you can see how much more you need to add or how much they end up taking over in a pour. Okay, so I think now I'm gonna end it off, guys, with a tiny hit of this gorgeous copper. And that looks pretty to me. It's very pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just add in some water. I've got my go-to squeeze bottle. I do not do any measuring, guys. I do everything by feel. Once again, we're painting without painting. I got water there. I'm very messy. That is no secret. But I guess it's kind of like you say, a messy cook's a good cook. <laughs> So I guess if I'm making a mess, hopefully that's a sign that this is going to be beautiful. All right, very thin, very thin, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to lay, I'm going to lay a large puddle, 
And I'm not going to take this off. I'm just going to cover the surrounding areas. Let's get out the crazy torch, guys. Get rid of some bubbles here. Oh, I just love black as a base. As you guys know, it's one of my favorite colors. Okay, I am not thinning out uh, the gold. All right, so now what I'm trying to decide is do I want to pour something else I've been learning to. It really does matter where you move your cup. So if I want to pour where I finished off or do I want to start on the side? And I think I'm going to start on the side. Let me give it a quick torch and then I'll show you guys what I mean before I start stretching it out. Okay, the black in first because I'm using the black negative space and I want, or black, and I want negative space and as you can see there, you can see that black just sitting very nicely in the center and that's pretty cool but I don't know how that's going to turn out. Oh yeah guys, very excited. I bought a six piece set today, Artist Loft uh, palette knives, plastic ones. And uh, gonna, I can't wait. I'm going to end up doing a swipe with them. Okay, so you guys can see how shaky I am today. It is so gorgeous. I really got to decide how I'm stretching this because, like I said, I want negative space. Okay, now I said that I was happy with diagonal, and I think that's the direction we're going to end up going in. Just gonna bring this over here a bit. And it does not have to be a perfect circle ring pour as long as I have some gorgeous ring lines. Here, oh, all of it going off. I want to keep that black. So I want it more of a dip right there. Let me push the paint off really quick. She's a beauty, guys. Okay, wow, fam. Just take a look at this. Again, sorry for the glare, but I think from what I'm seeing here, you guys can catch how shimmer it is. The only silver that popped up was kind of in these cool little cells. And I'm happy with that. I'm telling you, this copper is just stunning. And I really like the movement. Again, you guys know how important I feel that is. I love the flow of it here. I love the opening. I'm so happy with that black in the center. I love the composition. I absolutely love it. And uh, even though as I poured, I did it horizontal, I absolutely am hanging it vertical. And I believe that's how I'm hanging it. And that's what it looks like horizontal. So you guys can let me know there in the comments how you would hang it or what composition you like best. But this is just gorgeous. All of the colors, the blend. You guys know it's my favorite color palette is the Neutral Metallics. And on a black, stunning base for contrast, can't go wrong. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and coming along. We're getting close to a thousand subbies. Uh, we might even be there by the time the video posts. So thank you so much for all your guys' support. Definitely take a look at my playlist if you haven't already. I will link my ring pour playlist for you. Um, as well as inside the video, I will link some playlists and straight pours um, that have these colors. Especially my last one. That was fantastic. 
So anyways, I will see you guys in the next pour.